Here is another one of those rules that most home builders and framing carpenters aren't really aware of. And I don't think I knew about it until I was in my 30s. And it has to do with rafter ties or ceiling joist. And this would be with any connection to the roof rafter or any laps that you're going to have between the ceiling joist or the rafter ties. And that's going to be the amount of nails required per connection. And according to one of the charts I found, this could be anywhere between three 16D common nails and 51 16D common nails. And a common nail is larger than a sinker. And with that being said, the more nails you put into a piece of wood, the greater the chances it's going to split. And I really don't know where the thinking is behind something like this, but I can tell you that you can install the nails on both sides if you need to, and you can use larger lumber if you need to. If you need to put 51 nails into a roof rafter and a rafter tie or ceiling joist, you're probably going to need 2x12s for both of them. Now, how do you find out how many nails you're going to need? Simply go to your favorite search engine and type in the words ceiling, joist, and rafter tie connections. And it should take you to a chart. And in the chart, you're going to look for your rafter slope, how far apart the rafter ties or ceiling joist are going to be spaced or their on-center spacing, then the live load or the snow loads, and then the span of the building. And to provide you a couple of examples, if I had a 3 and 12 roof pitch, and I was going to space my rafter ties 48 inches on center for a regular roof without a snow load or a live load only, on a building with a 12 foot or less span, I would need 10 16D common nails per connection. If that building was going to be between 12 and 24 feet, I would need 20 nails. And this is where it goes all the way up to 51 nails. If I was going to space my ceiling joists or rafter ties 48 inches on center, I would need 51 nails per connection if my building was going to be 36 feet wide. However, if I was going to space them 16 inches on center, on a 36 foot wide building. I could reduce that from 51 to 17 nails per connection. And hopefully that makes sense. However, if you have any problems using the information in this video, feel free to let us know in the comment area and I'll see if I can provide you with a little more guidance on this subject.